Todmorden is an old industrial mill town in West Yorkshire. Free cabbages and carrots are helping the locals to reimagine how they use public spaces. It really started on very little. I mean, there wasn't yeah. a, a major funding, was there? It wasn't yeah. like this was kind of... That was the very council deliberate. came along yeah, and yeah. said, this is how it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, it was just a bunch of people, wasn't it? Was it was very deliberate because we didn't want to be in a position where we were reliant on outside funding. We wanted something that anybody could do anywhere mm. and, and not have to do with, with any sorts of capital. And that, that meant that you had to look creatively at what you had. And what we've got are people and resources of space, land. And those are the, that's the territory that start the journey on, I suppose. And that's free. That, that's just a question of using it better. So it's all very well growing stuff, but you need to suss out how to maintain it. Yeah. And you need to suss out how to water it. And you need to make sure everybody's composting. And how are you going to do that? What we'll do is find a source of some small tubs that people do discarded, because they don't all need great big things. Yes. Um, and we'll just give them away just to get people thinking and then when they thought, oh this is a wizard idea, then they might apply to the council for one and they might buy themselves a bigger one. You actually yep. do it by just steadily working through and instead of coming at it from the point of view of, oh we'll just get a multi-million pound plant to do it for us, you work out how you do it locally. Yeah. And there'll be somebody somewhere. There'll be no end of opportunities for people to uh, contribute. And I think the point about the exercise is to say to people, you know, this really is evidence that you don't necessarily have to be a grower to be yep. involved. No, I can You see might that. be a retired whizzle, you know, I don't know, solar engineer or something. Who knows? Different people come to it all the time with different ideas. And the whole principle behind the project is not to turn anybody away, because you never know whether that might be a major breakthrough as a result of what they can offer. It's, it's fun as well, it's exciting. <laughs> Come away with a pink cauliflower. <laughs> the different people have taken on beds and take responsibility for managing them, planting them, keeping them tidy and such like. The spirit of that seems to be quite well managed and people stick to it. There's no form of overseeing of these. We don't run them as, as incredible edible boxes and keep an eye on them. We just expect and anticipate others will do that. So how did this block come about? Well, it's been here about three years and it's partly because I think of the school having a no playground so the kids didn't really have anywhere that they could do any growing themselves and this is the most obvious next part of the, of the, of the land that's available around them. It just happens to be a graveyard. Well it's hugely positive isn't it? It's not yeah. about it's not about stopping doing something, it's about starting doing something yeah. new. And just imagine it differently yeah. you know and I think what we're into in this sort of work isn't all the planting and all that stuff that's really good and it's sim symbolically important but it's not the core thing mm. it's about thinking about what we could be and what our communities could be and what our business could be and just how we live on the earth mm. and that is um, I think that's profoundly important that we really take take no, t take, take time to think about that, but we constantly demonstrate as best we can of mm. how we're doing it in, in our own situations. So, you know, so we grow stuff, so we share it, so we talk about the celebration of it, we have events, we, we constantly sort of tumble forward mm. into a better future. And I like that, I like mm. that idea of, of experimenting with it. Uh, and, and food is just such a lovely connector to do that with. You know? It's just such a lovely way in. And, 